Let's go. So, hello, my Saudi. And I'm back for yet another video. And I hope you guys are having a great time. Welcome back to my channel, honey. Guys, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below, honey, honey, honey. It's not easy, believe me, you who child. You guys know I'm a hairstylist, so <laughs> we done break. I was like, wait, 30 freaking days to do what? Stay locked in, guys. As hairstylists, you guys know we are very creative. Our hands need to be doing something. And I was like, you know what, guys? You know what? I'm honey. I have not taken a vacation in forever since I became a stylist, which is so many years ago. So I guess the universe is like, bitch, what can you do now? So I, I, I have to be doing something. You guys doing i love you guys so much guys please let me know what's going on how you guys it's it's crazy <sighs> i'm just a very positive person so i'm trying to share my positivity with people out there because i know how it is honey so oh child honey you know what i have a video for you guys today i'm so happy because it is love <laughs> evangelista honey and she has this video a squad devil uh, it says let's talk sense you guys know i love perfume so much i am broke so i buy like one perfume every two or three months and i buy perfumes that makes me smell like a baby like this one it's called lorenzo oh it smells fabulous honey gaggy gaggy but it's expensive girl lorenzo villaresi firenze i'll put them so i have that i have this one which is about what that and then i have the kim kardashian perfume I'm broke so this one I bought it like one year ago and then finally I have one called Lady Million but since I'm <laughs> I'm a perfume whore if I have money. I was like you know what let me see what this is all about and Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Let me see what my baby did. Let's talk Perfumes, honey. Hi, it's Hearts, and welcome back to my channel. Hearts, I'm going to lose star, bitch. You guys wanted me to feature my perfume collection. Yes. I decided today to show you guys my favorite ones. Look. Okay, that. Okay, that beats. Okay. Okay. Love sense because Honey, me it too. transports me to that certain time of my life. So Honey, it makes me feel on like favorite days, like my wedding, my first date with my husband. Oh, oh honey. So it's just very memorable. And yes! I study about sense and how it triggers a certain She's thing. not she's not kidding, guys. I kid you not. Up till now I know the first very the first perfume I ever had. I was twelve years plus and it was called Love Dream. And uh, let's just say that perfume, oh chow. That's when I knew the type of person I was. It was called love or dream. It gave me this kind of it's love dream. I love, you know, having specific perfumes for certain days. Yes. So basically there are a lot of types of perfumes. This perfume is for <sighs> that moment. This is the perfume I'll spray. Yep. The very first would be EDPs. These are like the most common ones. Yes. EDPs or Eau de Parfum or in short. Yes, this is Parfum. Oh yes. So these are the it's ones the that parfum. are a bit pricey, but it will be definitely worth it because it'll last you the whole day. So my I said it. Yep. She's not kidding. This true. I love this because how do it's some fun. It's really hard to Honey. describe your perfume. It's very personal. It's different for everyone, but for me. This would probably be summer in a bottle because it's oh. fresh, it's citrusy, and oh, citrus is very light, but not so serious. It actually reminds me of another favorite, which is Neroli. I had one bottle, oh. but because of my unfortunately, I don't even want to talk about it. My, it just fell. My whole shit I know. broke. I lost that. But yeah, Tom Ford, call me. <laughs> yes, honey, this one smells like it smells like a baby. Guys, it has this powdery smell to it. Smells like powdery, but a baby powdery. Sometimes it can be intense, but matured. Not intense, it's very soft to the point it's like, uh, it makes it look, uh, you know, if you're not used to it. There's just something about this smell. Bench. Uh uh. 
It's yes, a smell. I love this because it's very fresh. It's light. Yes. And I also have another one. This amazing smell. This one's called <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> So I'm fun. I ain't playing at all. It actually comes with a smaller bottle. <laughs> this one's like a little spray. And like, oh. you know, when you have a night out, yes. you know, to freshen up. If you have like a major party to go to a ball, like yes. Again, this is like the perfect scent. And you know, Guys, scents really are everything. I'm sorry. And it lasts the whole night. Ooh. It also comes with a really cute gold funnel, which is really Martin. I really am cute. so. When All right, so we I move on to another favorite. This one is oh, my favorite, Becky. actually my sister and I's favorite. Hello, Camille, if you're watching. Oh. This is from Francis Kirk Dijon. Oh. This is super mabo. It's floral. It's also very light. I mean, it's strong, but lighter than strong, if you get what I mean. I, I, that's the, that that's I the, with like a really nice white crisp. That's water. the best way to describe oh, this. They say, amoy mayaman, like that. I Ooh. love it because it's floral, but it's very fresh. Yes. Very feminine. Yes. I love. Honey, <laughs> I'm not kidding. When you're a perfume whore, you know, you just know. Well, there's something about it, it makes you go like, ah, 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 ah. you know, when a perfume makes you go like this. Uh, there are perfumes like that that makes you feel like sexy. Yeah, so I do understand her very well. Chanel. This is oh, number five Chanel. I would envision. I've never I bought it for myself. Uh, this is actually one of the perfumes that was found at Marilyn Monroe's house before she died. Stop it! It's really a classic. It's very strong. It's very musky. When you smell it, you really smell elegant. So elegant Which is good for the summer. Chanel number five. Oh! I bought it for my friend, but I never heard it. Next kind of perfume. This is EDT or Eau de Toilette. This oh. is the one that you also see in the market. Yes. Sometimes cheaper, but not necessarily. It's something that you EDT, can buy I, to get I, extra money, probably. Or if you really, really love the scent. So I would start with... I don't think I have an EDT. This I always go for I perfume. Remember specifically the day that I discovered this. I was 14. I was at Ooh. an acting workshop. And one of the girls, one of the models, was wearing this scent. So it was so like memorable because it has this distinct spicy yet sweet and strong scent oh. about it. It's super sexy. So it's something that I love. My husband actually loves this. And I would wear it. Honey, please tell me you wear it <laughs> for the would you, would you? Yes, girl, you, be you better. I don't know. When I just feel like it. Maybe when I'm wearing black or it's winter or whatever, but I wear this all the time. The scent doesn't last the whole day, so it's something that you have to keep spraying. Keep spraying, okay. This is super. Loud. Yeah, right, it is are like that. That's why I don't have them. Luna. This is something that I love. I mean, it reminds me of my happiest day. I got married. This was my perfume. Oh. This is actually the perfume that I... Uh, was wearing when my husband and I started to date, so it's very Stop it. as you can see, it's almost gone. Yeah, we had a full bottle before the whole accident happened. Uh, 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 it's just so <laughs> I so know, I'm so, so, so sorry, girl. Me. I'll do anything for you. This, honey, if I lose my pet, I don't. Oh, child, uh uh, uh uh, fresh. It's something you can really use every day. I think it's hard to move on. I just really need chocolate. It was actually one of my first major perfumes when I was growing up. That I oh, was wow. be around eight years old. And it just smelled so powerful. Honey, it also reminds me a lot of my best She has been spraying so since eight. I started when I was twelve, girl. Down below because I've been really because I'll take my mom's okay, perfume so when I was younger. To cologne. Okay, this would be the most common. We all use it growing up. This oh. would probably be the first bottle that you and I can relate to. We had. Oh. <laughs> I never use cologne, so let me see what she used. Angel Breath, if you're from the Philippines, you would know. Angel's Breath, I've heard the name before, but I've never used it. Yuko, you guys are familiar with this. They usually come in big bottles. They're cheaper because you usually have to spray it over, over and over and again. Yeah. The alcohol content is higher, so there's less fragrance concentration. And that is why I don't do any cologne. That is, I start coughing and I don't drink or smoke. So with that, you guys know. Cologne will make me go woozy woozy, you know, and 
Yeah, it will make me go drunk without even drinking. That's how it is, but it's something that you would. I love the smell on men. Just don't bring it close to me on my body or no. Fresh, it makes you feel fresh, especially here in the Philippines. It's very humid, it's hot. So, but maybe after sex, then I shower immediately if I'm having. It's crazy though. My adult version of my cologne would be Joe Malone. This one's called the called Cherry Moya or Cherry Moya. I love the bottle though. I love the bottle, I have to say. Tropical, very fresh, oh, cute. Very this is actually something that you could also give to maybe a niece that's oh, starting to become a laga. This would also be a good starting sense. Oh. That I would actually give cheese can we, um, Guys, can we talk about her hair and her outfit right there? It's, she's giving me that coral spell. The color is coral. And then the hair. La. Very playful, it's not too serious, but yeah, very fresh. Okay, and the next would be, oh, this reminds me of Paris. I wore this when I went to Paris. When it perfectly reminds you of Paris, 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 girl, you know you've arrived, honey. Let's be real. It's that. How do you pronounce? <laughs> Hands <laughs> ill the Hermes cool. <laughs> so yeah, this is the <laughs> red cologne. So it's super nice. It's fresh. It has a That's all I can say. I love it. It's like a signature smell. I think everyone should have like a signature smell. Like when you pass, people remember you. You know, it really does complete. This is my signature smell. smell. It really completes your OOTD. Yeah. It gives you so much character. I, I don't play with it at all. I have to be real with you guys. And yes, my <laughs> ultimate, ultimate favorite. You'd be surprised. I'm sure some of you. This one is from Bath and Body Works. This is Dark Kiss. I oh, Dark Kiss. Lip balm. I would definitely. I can see why the smell is always so cute. This is something that I use. Every, Every day, yeah. bath and body. You guys are shocked about yeah, our body day. So the really last time I had one was like here. seven years ago, Honestly, but she's right. So I make other rest to go to greenhouse to hoard all of the lotion and anything darkest I'll get. So I love this, and I don't mind. I can see why. Over all over. If you really want your perfume to last or the fragrance to last for a really long time, I suggest that you spray it on the ends of your hair or all over your outfit. So what I would usually do, I would spray it all over my jacket or my Oh guys, I always spray it on my clothes, my armpits and my butt. Ah I didn't know you can oh on your hair. On my head, then I spray like this, then I go underneath. Okay. Oh. My outfit before wearing. So that's how it lasts. Also, because perfume is very expensive and you know, you also want to test it out like shoes, you have to wear them. I and find out if. Don't be shy. Whenever you choose a perfume, spray it all over you and on your skin. Walk around the mall, give it time to set, and then smell how it's going to be after. after yes. That's how you will actually. That's when you know she's the perfume expert, too. Perfume. Guys, she's and right. To the and another Ooh. thing would, you know, to make everything really memorable, especially if you want to be a collector, you have to really have a specific bottle for a specific person, a specific event, or when you travel. Because yep. it's really a story. It's it, really it, lovely. She's it right. It back memories. So when you yes. Paris, or you had a date here or it's your first date i mean it's really nice to have specific bottles for each special so if anyone asks right, me so why do i have perfumes perfume. now you know I why i'm really credible for this because i just had that accident okay we cannot move on i know but yeah usually especially when you're in a hot country or a tropical country it's best that you don't put it directly under the sun that's not really good oh no 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 so people put it in the refrigerator or in front of the aircon but if that that's not a bad idea i never on the sun Ooh, no girl that stuff would just evaporate i think i do my when my when i was in a tropical country let's be real i my perfume was always hidden so i i had to so. just probably make sure not to open all your perfume all at once like you i think it prolongs the perfume when you keep it in the box and it's sealed 
in a weird way it just kind of lasts longer and mm. i suggest that you use maybe three perfumes at a time don't get too excited so if you really love the scent so much check out if it comes with a matching cream or hand lotion because it actually works better that way it kind yes of it's because it's it yeah. like a sealer to the perfume so one is for your skin and one is yeah for the all the perfumes i have they don't so come really with that maybe lady million minds the whole day and that's the goal and those are my tips all right Honey. thank you so so much i hope you guys enjoyed our short course that is bomb i'm just saying Guys, what are you guys seeing? I'm not kidding you guys. I am a perfume whore. Like, I love perfumes. Like, if you ever get me a cologne, just know that you hate me. Like, I'll just say, oh, thank you very much. But I know where that cologne is going to. It's going to a friend so she can give it to their boyfriends or something. <laughs> I'm just, I've never been a fan of colognes. There's just something about it. On a guy, it's sexy. I'm like, I want to pounce on them like, you know, when it smells nice. But on me, ew, are you kidding me? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope I'm so ready. And that's how I'll see you guys. Bye, guys. Guys, take care of yourselves, okay? Only, only, only you can fix me, man.